What is going on everyone? It is Mark here with another video and yes, I'm I'm as sick as a dog. Has that stopped me from making a YouTube video? Yeah, well it did for about three days, but today we are back. We are taking a look at something a little bit different, something that we don't typically take a look at on this channel. That is a piece of software. So today's video is sponsored by the great people over at Wondershare, whose product we will be taking a look at today. And again, without saying that does not alter my opinion on this product. Today we will be taking a look at PDF Element. It's a great and very easy to use tool to edit and create PDF documents. It is very comparable to an Acrobat type program. In my opinion, a little bit easier and a little bit more intuitive to use. That being said, let's jump right in and let me show you what's going on. So one of the greatest things about it is how easy it is to open, access, and kind of use it. So what I've done is I kind of created a sample file for us to kind of play along with and kind of use as an example. That to me is gonna be the best way to show you some of the features of this software. So very simply, all you do is you gotta take that file, you gotta drag it onto the window, and there it is. Now we're gonna get into the world of changing and editing an existing file and being able to add a lot of the features that you might need to add if you're trying to create a PDF that's a little bit more intuitive, a little bit easier to use, and a little bit more sophisticated. So, first things first, I'll go over some of the basics. Of course, you can mark this up, you can highlight, you can do a whole bunch of things, you can select your colors, you can highlight, like I just said, title, subtitle, heading one, all of that fun stuff, of course. You can put in shapes, you can create boxes, you can do a whole bunch of things to kind of create and edit this as your heart pleases. For example, I just created a box. Can I change that thickness? Of course. Can I change the colors? Yes. You can change the fill, you can change the opacity. All of that fun stuff is there for you to use. So those are some of the very basic things that you can do. You can annotate, you can add arrows, you can do all this fun stuff. Add, you can add text, you can add boxes. As you can tell, the sidebar here is very easy for us to use, um, but some of the other things that are kind of more powerful and more fun for us to actually do, starting to get into the kind of actual elements of this PDF. For example, see this image here of this lovely canyon? I can go ahead and do simple things such as rotating it like so. I can actually go and replace it with a picture of something that I would like to use. And there we go, as simple as that. Not only that, you can actually export, extract, you can actually use this to kind of capitalize on a lot of features that you can actually use. PDF Element, of course, does allow you to kind of edit pre-existing PDF files, especially the text. So you go into the text menu, you double click, there you go. So instead of saying to get started right away, so I'm gonna say to get started left away. Yes, I'm hilarious. Things like this are very, very easy for you to do. Something that can be actually very useful for you and creating kind of electronic files and documents for you to use is going to be the form functionality of this app. Here are some of the options, text field, check boxes, radio button, drop down menu, list box, buttons, and digital signatures. For me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use the actual drop down menu. This can be used and implemented in kind of using forms. So very simply, drop down menu, you're going to create a box where you want this said drop down menu. I'm just going to create it here off to the side. I'm going to go and I'm going to edit that double click, and here are now my options. So to create that list, you just gotta add them to the actual items list here. So I'm gonna say, look at this feature. There you go, and you're done. Now, if you wanna preview that, see how it actually functions as a PDF, you just simply click preview, and there are all your options. Look at this feature. So this can be used in case of like a job application form that you're creating. And another thing that I really like, I've actually used this in work and other places, is the Redact tool. They make it very easy, very, very simple. So mark for redaction, here we go. I'm gonna say, I don't wanna show this. Boom, bada bing, apply, okay. There we go, 100%. Even I can't see that now. Um, that being said, that is not all that can be offered. So similarly to being able to edit pre-existing PDF files, you can actually do this off of scanned files. So similar to text editing, similar to all this other fun stuff, you can do that from a scanned file. All you have to do is use something what they call the OCR text recognition. That creates an editable PDF file from a scanned document. This could be very useful if you didn't have the actual original PDF file. And when you're taking a look at this actual menu here, you can see some of the awesome other features that professional and power users can 
can use. PDF convert, adding a watermark, adding background, like all of these things can be used to actually very, very easily edit and create PDFs. So thanks again to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Uh, we don't typically do software reviews, but this I feel like a lot of people would be able to use in a day-to-day -day kind of activities. Um, there is going to be a 50% off link down in the description. If you are interested, please feel free to hit it. But I hope you liked that video. If you did, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. For additional brownie points, please follow me on all my social media. Links can be found down in the description, but for now, thank you. And I am going to have a nice warm cup of chicken noodle soup. Anyways, thank you, and I will see you on the next one.